Have you ever been swimming next to somebody, swimming freestyle, and they blow past you like you're standing still, and you're thinking to yourself, oh, what the hell am I doing wrong here? What, why are they going so fast? Well, today is your episode. This is the what the hell am I doing wrong on freestyle episode. Here we go. First, let's look at good freestyle, or at least decent freestyle. Here I am, stretching it out, Pretty good body position high in the water because my eyes are down, my hips are up, elbows are high coming out over the water, arms out front are high in the water. Good rotation from the hips, small tight kick behind me. Okay, now let's talk about the mistakes. Let's start with rotation. Most people don't rotate or they don't rotate properly. They do it all from their shoulders and you can see how it gets you twisted up. Imagine your body is like a cylinder of dough. And if you wanna roll that dough evenly, then you need to do it from the center because if you only do it from one of the ends, it's gonna get twisted up, it's gonna get messy. You are that cylinder of dough. And so a great drill for this is, yep, if you saw the last episode, you guessed it, rotation drill. Except this time we're looking down, so it looks like this. When you do this, again, you really work the hips, drive the hips down, bringing the shoulder to the chin, not the shoulder working independently, bring the shoulder to the chin and breathe every three rotations. Very important when you take a breath, you go with the body. Everybody, when I introduce this drill, what they do is they rotate and then they turn their neck to take a breath. They do it in two parts. Do it in one part. Swimming is all about efficiency and synchronicity. Use your body parts, make them work together, not independently of each other. You gotta have a tight kick when you do this so the legs don't get crossed up because if you don't do this properly with everything coming from the core and the hips, then it looks like that rotation drill that we did for backstroke where you get twisted up and your body moves left to right in the water just like when you're swimming. The second problem, and this has to be the most common in all of freestyle, is people looking forward. It's human nature. We wanna see where we're going, but we don't get that luxury in swimming. We don't get many luxuries at all in this sport. You've gotta look down and trust that that black line is gonna tell you when the wall is coming. Because if you don't, if you look forward, then it looks like this, where your hips are down. You can see right there, I'm not getting my butt cheeks up. Your butt cheeks should feel the air on the surface. And if you don't do that, then you're swimming uphill. Yes, that is a thing, just like running uphill. Running uphill sucks, it's awful. Swimming uphill sucks, it's awful. It slows you down because of the resistance that your hips are hitting. And so you've gotta get those eyeballs down. To give you another demonstration of why this is important, if I'm just laying flat on the surface, every little bit that I tick my head up to look forward, is a drop in my hips until finally when I'm looking straight forward, it's a lost cause and I'm bound for the floor. You want to swim downhill, getting the hips and the legs up on the surface because believe it or not, there is a wave coming in behind you that can pick you up and help you ride forward or it can suck you under. When you finish into the wall fast, notice how the waves come crashing in behind you. Those waves are always there. You wanna ride those suckers. You don't wanna get caught under, underneath them. The third problem we see a lot of is people thinking about their arm movements as being hand-driven. I'm gonna bring my hand to the front where I'm going to pull with my hand. And that sounds logical, I get it. But there's two problems with it. One, it's a weaker pull. You're probably going to bend a bit at the wrist and you're not going to use your forearm to get more water. And the other one, this one's less intuitive, it's gonna cause you to swim uphill. You can see in this video of me doing a hand-driven recovery that my hips are a bit lower than normal. And the reason is, if your uh, hand is leading the way, then your elbow is taking a back seat. And you can see that as I go from this position right here that I was in in the earlier video to this position, the chest is coming up and the hips are going down because putting that, that elbow back, it puts a little bit of downward pressure on the hips and so you swim uphill. But if you get that elbow forward, it puts a bit of downward pressure on the body to swim more downhill. And so yes, you have to have a more elbow driven arm movement. The elbow brings the hand to the front and then out front, the elbow gets the arm into place. So the elbow is going forward and up to bring the hand and forearm into a catching position. 
as one unit. We don't want this motion when we're pulling. We want this to operate as one unit so that we can get the most water possible. All right, I'll give you one more to think about. Problem number four, crossing the midline. Whew, sounds scary, I know. The midline is an imaginary line that runs down the middle of your body, and it is a very important concept in long axis swimming, freestyle and backstroke. You never want to cross it. When you cross your midline, you can see here in this video how my fingertips are jutting across that midline as I pull. What happens is one, you lose a lot of power in your pull, it becomes much weaker, and two, you get more twisted up, which if you already are doing a shoulder-driven rotation, that's gonna make the dough, you, really messy and we don't want that. Instead, when we pull, we want our fingertips to point down as early as possible in the catch without bending the wrist, as you can see here, and keeping the fingertips pointed down all the way through to the back end of the pull. There you have it. Those are four of the most common problems that I see in freestyle. As always, I hope this helps you swim different and swim faster. Good luck.